Today we're gonna find out how you can get more than 10,000 free assets that you can drag and drop in in Blender. So stick around to find out how you can get them. First I'll show you a little bit about them. So this is Blender Kit. You can type in whatever assets you're looking for. Filter the search to only look for uh, free stuff by clicking on this button and then you have all the free assets from uh, Blender Kit. Um, whatever asset you want, even Spider-Man, you know. And you also have the add-on from Polyhaven, which is in the asset browser. And you can just drag and drop everything that's on the Polyhaven site. So a bunch of textures, bunch of HDRIs and a bunch of highly detailed models with textures applied to them. As you can see, you can drag and drop them and all the textures are immediately applied. Um, and also for the Blender Kit, also just drag and drop very easily. Blender Kit also has other free assets you can use, so such as uh, a lot of different textures, um, a completely set up scene, HDRIs and brushes uh, to use for sculpting. To install it, go to the website, uh, link down below, and just download the Blender Kit uh, add-on. Uh, you can put it into a folder and then install it through the uh, add-on section in Blender, which is pretty straightforward. Once you have uh, clicked on install add-on, you can check the little box of the add-on and you have it installed. Blender Kit is completely from the internet, so you don't use any computer space and you download everything uh, directly from internet so you do need some internet um, now for polyhaven you have to go to their github and look at the installation steps which i will go through for you as well it's normally 30 dollars they also gave it away from free so if you want to support them you can always pay them on the blender market to install it click on the link to visit the release page download the zip file for the newest version once you've downloaded it you can go uh, back and follow the installation steps or follow me along uh, when where i tell you how you can do it um, so once you've installed it give it a nice uh, add-on folder and again install it uh, in your preferences so i got this folder add-on and there is my polyhaven add-on so just install it and click and you'll see once you want to check the box to install it it won't work and you'll get an error message now down below on the page it will give this error message and you'll have to click on that so click on the error message down below and then it will open up your log copy the log that has your installation file on it so it installed it from this file to that file copy it paste it into word or something and uh, copy the thing where it downloaded it to so add on from to blah 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 copy that file path and paste it into to your file searcher uh, now I had to delete some slashes um, I don't know if that's something from the Dutch compared to English or something I don't know but I had to do this maybe you have to do it as well and don't forget to get rid of this thing at the end then you can go to the installation where the file is installed and you have to switch the names to this one so so the one you will have will have the add-on version behind it and you have to change it to the thing that it says on the site refresh your add-ons and then you have you'll be able to click the checkbox once you've clicked the checkbox it will give a little error message saying that you will have to go to your uh, file paths because you have so you have to set one up so click on plus, make a new folder. So I made one called Polyhaven add-on and just select that as the file path. Once you've done that, rename the name of the file path to Polyhaven and then save it or automatic save will be applied. So you don't have to save it because it saves automatically. Open up a asset browser 
yeah and then uh, go to polyhaven and then you can fetch fetch the essence you can click on the drop down arrow and choose whether you only want the models the materials or the uh, hdris to be downloaded or you can just fetch everything as at once so it will download everything into that one file that you've selected and it will be 3.3 uh, gigabyte in total so keep that in mind hopefully you found this video helpful if you found it helpful maybe consider subscribing or liking the video leave a comment uh, for, for things you want to see in uh, another video maybe a tutorial or uh, something else about blender and um, hopefully till next time bye